and Tisha. Well, I completely reject your assertion that anybody in this house uh, values the lives of women less than anybody else. I think that's a disgraceful comment for you to make. Um, I mean, it, it takes two psychiatrists, apparently, to certify somebody uh, to institutional care. It's, I think, a lot of people who are currently in medical care in Ireland would wonder how long it takes two consultants to get to discuss their particular case. Mm -hmm. So the idea that somebody who is in distress, somebody who is pregnant and wondering what they're meant to do, somebody who is being denied control over their own body, that they have to wait for six, whether it be three physical and then a review panel of three, potentially to come together, is quite extraordinary. And what we're seeing happening in this story, I think, is really interesting interesting. Most of the time the, the, the reporting of this has been about or there's a sense that this is about kind of recidivist Catholicism versus a new Ireland. But what we're seeing here is quite insidious which is that the open ideology of control over a woman which we associate with the Catholic Church is now becoming kind of technocratic. It's now six people are going to be in charge of you, maybe three, maybe another three. And because it's called clinical practice what we're losing sight of here is that the same kind of control is being furthered in this legislation. Mm.